Hello, welcome to the Canada Visa Success. My name is Richard Lasciado. I'm an MBA with 23 years of study abroad counseling experience, and I'm trying to bring before you various factors how you can improve your visa success for Canada. And today I'm going to talk about this visa SOP, the visa statement of purpose, the importance of visa SOP and what to write in your visa SOP. Very, very important. So don't miss it. Watch it till the end as you will find value addition in this video. All my videos are good. In fact, you can look at the US visa success series completely and for Canada visa success, you can look at the previous videos as well. So this will help you to get your Canada study permit visa. Now let's come to the importance of visa SOP. Visa SOP is very, very important because you are communicating directly with the visa officer. You are telling the visa officer why you should be granted visa. If you have weakness in your profile, you are explaining that in your visa SOP. Your strengths you are highlighting in your visa SOP. So your visa SOP is a very important document where you are communicating to the visa officer, marketing yourself, and also explaining the various things where you find that the visa officer can reject you. So what you are going to write in your visa SOP, right? So first is, if you have scored good in your academics, then you are going to mention about it. If you have done good in the subjects related to the program that you are going for, you are going to mention in your visa SOP. If you have not done good in your academics, you are going to mention in your SOP why you have not done good, how you have improved and why you should be granted visa. Okay, You are not going to say that grant me visa, but you are going to substantiate that this is how you want to fulfill your career dreams. If you have taken French in your school, then you can highlight that you have done French. Canada is a bilingual country. It has got English and French population. And that's why we have chosen country Canada. Okay. So you can connect your French with choosing Canada or you can connect various other factors as well. Okay. Now understand, you know, each of the profile is so different. So I'm not able to explain all the points here, but whatever points I feel general, I'll explain it in my, this particular video. The next is about your gap in your education. You have taken, you know, you have failed in a particular year or you, you know, you in that year. So that particular, you know, the visa officer will know. So you will have to cover that weakness whereby you have to say that, yes, I have failed because of so and so reasons, but in the later years, I have improved on my academics and my improved academics should be basically considered when granting study permit visa to Canada. If you have basically completed your education and you have work experience, you need to substantiate that your academics and your work experience is related to the program and this is important for your career growth. If basically you are a mature student in 30s, 40s and 50s, you need to explain why you are going now and why this will help you in your future career plan, how this program is related. So more important is why now. If you have finances, sponsors, Anything that you have to highlight, you can highlight it in your visa SOP. You can talk about yourself. Okay, you can talk about you being the only son, only daughter. You can talk about why you have selected this university. So you can talk about the correspondence that you have done with this university before selecting this university. You have talked about the various meet, admission requirements that you have fulfilled to get into this university. You can talk about the program the uniqueness of that program, the professors that basically are involved in, with whom you are going to work, the with professors with whom you are part, And you can show that as a proof that you have communicated with the professors. If you have work experience, you can show as a proof that your work profile is a proof that you have work, you are IT returns as a proof. But mention it in your SOP how this is so important for you. So understand your visa SOP is very, very important document where you are communicating your thoughts, your ideas, your feelings to the visa officer. Write it well. In case you need help, 
then we have a free Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment. The first appointment is free for you. Book, go to the calendar link, book an appointment. We provide the entire study abroad counseling. And if you are interested, you can take register with us as well. So all the best. Take good care and like, share, subscribe. Very, very important. Do good so that good things happen to you. Till then, stay connected. Bye.